Now you see the home plate umpire stands in front of Russell Martin and throws him out of the game. Now that's unbelievable. Even Russell Martin was not showing him up, did not turn around, and you could see that Paul Schreiber picked a fight. He picked a fight. He stood right in front of Russell Martin, who was saying it, and only the two of them heard. Russell Martin never came out of his crouch. And Schreiber threw him out of the ball game. You know, I can see an umpire if a player gets up out of the crouch and gets in your face, but Russell Martin never got up. We also don't know how how much chirping was going on mm -hmm. with Russell Martin. That might have been what you're right, Ken. You know that. If you don't, so long as you don't look at the umpire, nobody yeah. in this stadium knew that that he had a gripe with that last pitch. I, I did see that 3 0 pitch. It looked right down the middle, hit him in the mask. And I assume that that was the pitch he was he was upset about. But maybe this has been going on for the last couple innings. Well, the Yankees only have four walks in the game, so I, I would think that this kind of happened right now. Boy, Schreiber actually went around to pick the fight. Yeah, he did. To escalate the fight. Now we're going to take a look at ball four to Zobrist. It's high. So that's a ball. It might have been other pitchers during the at bat. So now a kid who got to bed at five in the morning and had a catch 14 innings yesterday. Now I know he's 22. But that's what's going to happen here. You're going to have to have Austin Romine catch unless they put Montero back there. I doubt that at this point. But here's where he comes and he, he, he escalates it by standing in front of him. Yeah that, I don't like that. that that's kind of weak. That's awful. Nobody in this entire place knew what was taking place. And again, we, we don't know how much Russell was saying whatever was on his mind to Paul Schreiber, but from afar, that didn't look like it warranted a, someone to be thrown out. And it's going to be Austin Romine back behind the plate. <laughs> 